but I'm in charge of, of a part of the municipality of Nestle where we try to establish um, more or less a permanent environment for professionals to come together from different professions in order to create new ideas to ensure that each and every part of the municipality and the town and the municipality as, as a whole is uh, in a good development. Uh, so we more or less come up with some basic ideas, some basic trends, what must be involved in this establishing of a, of a proper environment for professionals. What do they need in order to be, be creative? What do they need in order to come up with new ideas, etc., etc.? The, the classical way of thinking, I, I'm sure you know it, you've heard about it lots of times, is that at um, each and every part of the municipality turn out to be a column. Children, schooling, care for the elderly, etc., etc. And they seem to, to establish their own logic uh, of production. I'll return to that later. But there's a lot of uh, common challenges which must be taken care of more or less together, not as a whole, but, but parts of it must be taken care of. I just make a short repetition of what I said yesterday. We are a city of 80,000 people. Uh, and uh, the city area of Nista is approximately 50,000 people, that is 30,000 people is living in the countryside. Now that is also, of course, a challenge uh, in all aspects of work. Uh, our daily running costs per year, and we said that also yesterday, was, or is approximately 400 million uh, euros. Legislation on water has been a part of Danish uh, administration for 130 years. So we have a long tradition of taking care of, of our water resources, uh, fresh water, salty water, sewage, etc., etc. And of course, this taking care of water has increased within uh, the last decades due to uh, an increasing understanding of the necessity of, of taking care of water. And I think uh, the presentation uh, done yesterday by, what was her name? Uh, right. Uh, underlined this fact that we must uh, take care of our water uh, resources. If you want to read more about uh, Water administration in, Dan in, in general, and you don't have it in English, I can recommend this homepage, danishwaterforum.pk. Um, what is done within this 130 years of tradition of administration, control, supervision? Um, just to, to make a few examples, if you take fresh water um, resources in, in this, that we have. 311 kilometers of public streams and creeks. That is mainly the, for a, on, a, on a Danish scale, uh, at least uh, the, the bigger streams, uh, those who are uh, where you are able to to do some canoeing, for instance. We have 311 kilometers of public streams and creeks, and we have approximately 1,000 kilometers of of the drainage canals, etc., etc. But they, they are all under uh, the supervision and control of the municipality administration. We have 60 to 70 water suppliers. So water is not a private business. You cannot earn money from selling water, unless you put it into a bottle and sell it in the supermarket, of course. Um, and uh, it's not a, a public uh, thing either. We have small local boards uh, in charge of each and every uh, water supplying company, so to speak. It's not a company, but it's a, it's a, 
is an organization in the public interest. I don't know what the exact English word would be for that. It's a very, very well-functioning system, and they have been challenged also uh, throughout the latest years because some politicians on a national level suggested that water supply should be a part of, of the private enterprise. So we should privatize water resources. But the Danish public is, of course, divided into all kinds of political parties and political orientations, but they have more or less in a, a common voice said, no way. Water is a basic uh, part of everyday life, and this is not something you can uh, turn into a private business and make money from water resources. And of course, when we are talking about challenges, we are also talking about clashes of interests. I almost suggested that there are some uh, clashes of interest, and that is also a part of establishing this environment for developing new ideas and I think the presentation we just had downstairs was an excellent uh, demonstration on, on how these challenges can be faced. It's, well, to put it uh, perhaps a little bit simplistic, it's, it's uh, rather easy to have these challenges put into an educational institute, an educational system, because we are used to having all kinds of modern challenges and, and so on taken care of by educational institutions and scientific institutions. But we are not used to, at least not in Denmark, uh, we are not used to having challenges taken care of by municipality administrations. Our politicians, when they meet their citizens in the supermarket, they are held responsible for the quality of how we take care of the elderly, the number of places for children in the daycares, the quality of the folk schools, or the school system, etc., etc., the roads and, and water administration and so on. So it's, uh, <clears throat> as I said before, it's the quality of each and everyday production which is the main focus of our city council and the, the members of our city council innovation, renewal, we can't even spell the words. Some politicians may say, it's, we are in a changing period right now. A lot of politicians also in, in this will have an increasing understanding that, that uh, the well-being of the municipality, the well-being of 80,000 people is also uh, connected to our ability to renew ourselves, renew how we are taking care of the elderly, but also how to attract new people to come to Nestle, to settle down in Nestle, to buy a house or, or establish uh, a firm in, in, in Nestle, etc., etc. So we must uh, take part of this um, renewal process. The clashes of interest, I'll, I'll return to that later on in, in my next presentation. Um, yeah, that is more or less uh, uh, the, the, the basic conclusion, so to speak, um, that each and every sector have their own logic of production, uh, referring to the columns I just uh, put on the, the whiteboard. But then again, the 21st century challenges are uh, the need of putting skills and knowledge together. Um, to have these clashes more or less put into a constructive clash between the scientific world, uh, educational institutions, municipality administrations, politicians uh, responsible of what is going on each and every, uh, everywhere in Denmark and also in Israel. We have a, a partnership which was established um, some eight, nine years ago, where we try to unify these interests to have um, our, our businesses in, in Israel coming together with the municipality 
and coming together with our technical university in Copenhagen and uh, our university at Roskilde, which is uh, also a kind of a uh, humanistic oriented, uh, humanistic dominated university. But, but uh, this cooperation um, is slowly, and I really underline the word slowly, uh, establishing itself as a powerful uh, network, as a powerful meeting point uh, for renewal and uh, new ways of, of dealing with challenges in the 21st century. I think it's slow also due to the fact that we don't have big industries in this. We don't have medical industries. Some of the types of, of manufacturing uh, which have uh, developmental departments as a basic, even perhaps the majority part of their organization is concerning or dealing with, with development. We have small scale businesses owned by one or two people with five to ten employees and they don't see how they can make use of universities or technical skills from the technical university in Copenhagen. But slowly the 21st century is also coming to that everyday production and coming to their uh, understanding that we must integrate, we must take in these new technologies being, uh, and it could be water, it could be uh, sewage handling, it could be everything, so to speak. So we are, we are uh, trying to, to, as I said, um, to establish an environment where these interests, where these different types of understanding of modern world is joined together and make new solutions in all areas within the municipality. Uh, the municipality as such, but also in, in the firms and businesses, the development of Nestle as such. Right. That's it, folks. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. you